Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So while we're taking a break from Rimuru and Milim, and perhaps most of us are looking forward to the next banners, to the next event, probably looking forward to the next collab already. So um, by the way, um, I, already, I actually posted on um, my community post a survey for um the next collab so it's it's from the developers they sent it to us i'm just uh, posting it there so that many could answer the survey so it's a survey for the next collab um they, they want to get your opinions on what you want so uh, let's just uh, push that aside and let's go back to let's read so let's read we're gonna have a review of what has improved um really in this faction um do they still have needs and also the incoming reinforcements uh, right after the recent banner okay so we're, we're starting off with um clearly the defender which is megan so megan superstar defender nothing you could ask for um top two defender if i may say or probably top one then you have your vanguards you have rimuru of course Again, I mentioned his name. Recently added, um, I think he's the top vanguard now. I don't think the others would compete. Um, you have the other vanguards like Yuna and Suzumi. So Suzumi, um, you're going to be using her in your summon team. So she, her value actually has uh, really risen uh, recently. Summon team is really good in PvP, again, as I may add. So under Militarist, <laughs> Again, another collab that uh, was uh, first released, which is Miko, Hatsune Miko. So most of you guys are happy. You can still get her in the store, by the way, for copies. So um, she's one of the best or the best militarist in Let's Red or probably the game. Not in the game. She has, she, I think, can compete with Zerola in that aspect in terms of damage but she has her advantages Sarola has hers but she is the top militarist in uh, let's red um the others would be re of course re um sad to say she's not being used anymore um she lacks something in her kit some something it has to be reworked and the other one would be ophelia of course which let's not talk about her anymore okay under specialist you have xantha kane xantha one one of the you know the first banners that we had before um still very good as a specialist very you know very good damage as a specialist if you built her well she is going to really 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 hurt your enemies and the other one of course is harriet i've found a lot of utility in harriet um because of blind because of the summons really like her very versatile especially for bosses so we go to the helpers so as for the helpers we have here aoi um kind of getting more usage as you know as you level her up um, she's more consistent if you get more copies of her. Then the last one and the helper would be Sakura, which is one of the underrated, I think, figures in the game in terms of silence, healing, a little bit of healing, by the way. She's not really a healer per se, but a, a sub healer. So what is new in Let's Reds? We have four. You have Megan. Um, oh, what? What I mean if there is somebody new is from launch, the additional figures that were given to them um, through Banner. So we have Megan, we have Rimuru, we have Miko, and we have Xantha here. So those are your new figures for Let's Red. Definitely, they were given a lot of reinforcement. And uh, for brand allies, um, the ones that I think work best with uh, Let's Red, you have here, um, of course, Milim, because you need to pair her with, uh, you not really need, but you can pair her with uh, Rimuru. You also have um, Zuki Liang, of course. Then you have Irens, Embers. And the other one that I think would be useful for Let's Red would be, where's Chow Chow? Here's Chow Chow. So, 
that is it. So if also, you know, if, if you want to have two D buffers, you could add Aya Kino there. If most of you guys, I think have I at a higher level because she was, you know, she was literally, I think given to us for free. So, so basically those are your ally reinforcements to your current, uh, let's red team. Okay. What are the advantages so far for let's red? So they are well reinforced. Um, they're, they're kind of up par at par ready with Tenma. Tenma used to be the you know the powerhouse in terms of figures. They had the best ones. The other teams didn't have that much you know that that much oomph in their lineup. But now you can count on Let's Red. You can really build a lot of team for them. So well reinforced summon team. They can also do away from someone and create an all-around team. The only thing that they need, by the way, okay, just want to point this out, is going to be a healer. So that is it. Because when sometimes when you build a let's red team, you have to borrow from you know from from uh, Tenma, you have to borrow Zephyr, <laughs> and sometimes you can't you know you can't bring a good. Uh, you can't take advantage of the boss, but I, I think it's th that's okay. But definitely, I would want to see in the future a healer um, with the Let's Red, uh, what they call this, Let's Red brand. Um, I think the only healer here, aside from, you know, if you bring in Zephyr, the only healer here would be Sakura, which Sakura only heals a little bit, not, not that much. She doesn't focus on that, by the way. And... Uh, that's it. I, I, I won't discuss um, the supers here. Um, eventually, you will be, uh, you know, you won't be using them, especially if they can't go above 160. The game right now is is competing at level 220 for those who are advanced and kind of just uh, um, reinforcing the other aspects of the buffs uh, once you go to level 220. But again, there is not a single um, dedicated healer for let's red so that is it more or less for let's red um i think that um they're, they're, they're well balanced right now except for the healer part so um in terms of their incoming reinforcements so you have obviously rafael um released actually in taiwan slash chinese server um she's going to be your specialist um not really sure if she has healing just wanna keep it as a surprise. So that is Raphael. The next one would be um, Yolanda. Yolanda is going to be SS tier. So she's a militarist. She will complement Miku um, at the back. So again, a nice addition. By the way, Raphael is going to be kind of A tier. So not really, I think, the one that we are looking for. We're really looking for a healer. And the other one, the last one, is Yui Sakai. She is a Vanguard. Um, I think the last one that came out for Let's Red. So those are the three. Um, it hasn't answered our need for a healer for Let's Red. But again, we could just borrow from the other factions or brands. But it would be good that they have their own. Again, um, brand bonuses, I love those. And um, hopefully we could have a future healer for this brand. So anyway, guys. Thank you very much for staying this far. And uh, if you've not subscribed yet, please do because this helps my channel a lot. And I hope I have helped you with this faction or brand review for Let's Red. Thank you guys. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.